Hi. Uh, hello, guys. Can you hear me? We can hear you just fine. Have you ever heard of uh, Beyblades nice. before? Beyblades? Yeah, are you familiar with this Beyblades thing? No, not really. It's like a like a spinning top. It's like battle tops. They like hit each other. You ever seen that? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> anyway, he's a culture. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on the win, Nightfall. Uh, more more questions that would probably be suited to you. How'd you feel about the patch? I imagine you woke up this morning and was like, "Oh, Universal Heroes got nerfed." What was your second reaction after that? I mean, patch is uh, quite nice. It nerfed uh, some most OP heroes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, nerfed a bit like uh, Octarine, like this Vanguard uh, that you can build it into Octarine. It's like uh, quite unbalanced. It shouldn't work like this. For like most heroes like Bat and uh, Timber, it's just too stupid. And uh, some other heroes like Void Spirit and like Magnus got uh, little nerfs, Medusa as well. Mm -hmm. You uh, still felt okay it, picking uh, Medusa though. I mean, yeah, Medusa is uh, a little bit nerfed, but I I can't say it's like that hero. Like, it's uh, still pretty like decent hero, I will say in the meta. Mm -hmm. Maybe not first pick anymore and not double pick anymore. Okay, that makes sense. Was there any heroes that you were hoping that would get more buffs? Because this seemed like a patch that just kind of nerfed a bunch of stuff. Not that many buffs. I mean. I was hoping they won't nerf Abaddon, but for some reason ah. they nerf it. Even uh, not much players did pick it, because I played like 50 games on this hero in pubs, and I was kind of owning, but <laughs> I didn't get to pick it in uh, official games yet, and they just nerfed it for some reason when it's like, wasn't even super high win rate. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Like this. You'll get another chance, yeah. I'm sure. Sheepstick, anything on your mind for Nightfall? Yeah, but it might be a scuffed question, because... I remember reading in an interview a very long time ago, I think, that you said you like to invent your own playstyle. I think it was in the context of asking if you like copy other players to get better. Uh, this was during offlane period. But my question was, how do you innovate Dota into your own style? Um, you know, when you finish like learning from other players and growing as a player, how do you how do you innovate your own style? I mean, I feel like you always uh, learn from other uh, players, but uh, same time, if you like want to be the best, you kind of have to create your own things. It's like just in Dota, it's like usually like little things you can do better than others. And playing a lot of pubs, uh, you can like invent them. Just uh, stuff uh, only you only you will do. I mean, how you do it? I don't know. Just play play a lot of pubs and uh, be familiar with like small things. Yeah. Okay. So, like, when, uh, so kind of on the same, like, t topic, when offlane is like all aura buying stuff, for example, do you think it's worth it to play to that strength in a patch or like move and try and do something new and creative? I mean, when, uh, offlaners used to only buy auras, like, last patch, I quit offlane because it's like, uh, not really much fun for me. <laughs> like, it was uh, not enjoyable. So, I just quit uh, the troll, and uh, if uh, ours were that strong, you can't like ignore them if you want to win Dota. All right, gotcha. And are you enjoying the carry role again? How's that been overall? Are you happier than when you were playing offlane? Yeah, I'm way happier playing like uh, carry. I feel like it's uh, kind of my better role, and things I do well, it suits uh, like position one better than position three. And every and uh, just overall, I'm enjoying playing uh, carry in pubs way more than uh, offlane. Like uh, just last patch, I'm like uh, coming into pub and I don't know what to pick. <laughs> you know, like when I play an offlane, every hero is like not uh, very enjoyable for me, and it's it's hard to play like this. And for carry, it's uh, quite opposite. I like most heroes and the gameplay itself. No, right. that's really good to hear. Congrats on the win. Here, what Thank you, you got? All right. So my questions be somewhat related to that. You went from offlane to carry, and then pure went from carry to offlane. How did that come to be? How how did this uh, change happen? Yes. I mean, uh, basically, uh, I mean it was a team decision, obviously, but uh, I'm the one who forced it because I like didn't really enjoy playing offlane anymore, and we couldn't really. Um, 
grow as a team if uh, anymore so and he was fine uh, switching to offlane so that's how it happened All and right. the team decided that it will be better as well yeah so we can uh, grow and improve as a team all right, thank you. And then the next question I have for you is going to be, in that game number two, the Huskar in the mid lane was taking off quite a bit and doing really well versus the Ember. What point of that game did you guys feel like you won for sure? It's game number three, right? Yeah, game three, sorry, game three. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought, we knew he going to pick Huskar probably, but uh, we thought uh, it's not going to be a big problem because we had uh, decent sidelines, and we thought uh, Enchanters can be really good against like uh, Husk. You can just roam him down, and uh, that's what happened. So was it after yeah. like his and, second uh, death on Huskar, you felt like the game was in the bag? I mean, yeah, when he died like t two times, uh, we understood it's like uh, kind of free game. So, all right, thank you. Yeah, hey. uh, I mean, Huskar is not is not really good hero if you can like snowball off lanes. But uh, I just feel overall, right, like right now, Husker is like it's really hard to win with this hero, like because uh, good teams will just like play him up, and Husker like it's like worst hero in uh, playing map. Yeah, even if you win your lane. My question uh, would be if when a new patch like this one comes out, usually like smaller patches, how many games of like your favorite heroes? Do you need to play before you feel like they're good or bad or not? Like you've established whether or not you think they're good or bad. I mean, it's hard question, but I feel like if you play like like ten games, you can already understand if hero got a decent buff or it's still like playing bad. Okay. Yeah. And then my other question. So I'd would... say I'd say like five five to ten games. Yeah. Okay. In pubs. So I know Duraccio's favorite hero is. Life Stealer. What's your favorite carry hero? I mean, uh, I got few. I mean, I'd say now my favorite uh, heroes is like TB and uh, Morph. In this specific yeah. patch, you but, mean? Uh, I mean, yeah. It's. It, I mean, uh, just hero I, I enjoy playing the most. It's like TB, Morph, and PL. I guess. Nice. I yeah. was hoping you'd say PL because I always viewed you as a PL player. So my question would be: Is PL completely dead now? <laughs> Ooh. I mean, uh, I'd say it's uh, it's huge nerf for PL, but uh, maybe you can play now like just uh, without Aghanim, like just uh, Defu like Manta hard build, and uh, yeah, just uh, get the talent anyway, like for uh, for E level 15, and just play through hard. Do you uh, do you like get emotionally affected by the patch? Like you think like all oh, my favorite heroes are nerfed, or are you just kind of one of the people that says it is what it is. Got to pick what's good. No, I mean, I, for me, it's like I'm more like a second type. It's like uh, some change, uh, some changes always gonna happen, and like I just uh, accept it. Like I can't go against it. I'm just like whatever. Like Snarf, gonna play something else. Okay, thank you. Nightfall, appreciate the interview. Congratulations on this two-one win against the Game and Gladiators, and we'll catch you later on in this group stage. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.